We celebrate good user experiences here on the channel. Weird just updated their already good Malifaux third edition app. Even if you do not play Malifaux, please join me in giving credit where it's due. Roll the intro. Welcome to Corner Case. You're in the hobby corner. I'm your host, Deck. So Weird Games just updated their Malifaux third edition app. But before we get into the updates, I want to add a little context to press the significance. So I think one of the most gratifying things about this hobby in general is um, a lot of companies, 40K, uh, a Games Workshop does it, Weird does it, Infinity does it. Um, they have narrative events every year, and those narrative events actually translate into uh, mechanical implications, rules, inside the game. So for you 40k players, the examples would be like the Blood of Ball supplement or, you know, the uh, Warzone Sheridan um, narrative event. And so this year, Malifaux's event is called Malifaux Burns. And it's the narrative, uh, it's this narrative that's translating into rules updates um, for the game that got updated into the app. So I think one important distinction that I just like, I just want to talk to you about is the way Weird manages their game. So in Malifaux, the character models, they're called masters in Malifaux. The master models, they're the characters that have a lot of weight in the story and they have a lot of mechanical weight in the game. And the way they design Malifaux um, as a game, the characters, the master models, have different play styles. So take this master, this was my first master. She's, her name is Rasputina. Um, in second edition, at least, she had two playstyles. The first playstyle was just gun line, shoot your opponent off of the board, blast, it, blast your, mo your opponent's models off the board from around the corner from way too far. That was one option. And the other option was she could actually be more of a support master, supporting objective running through summoning. And so I know that in 40k, you can kind of do this with your character models a little bit. You can give them certain relics and... Uh, certain warlord traits, and that kind of customizes the way they support your army a little bit. Um, but I think the way Malifaux does it is just like so, so flavorful and so cool. And so in this Malifaux Burns update, that's kind of what we're getting, is we're getting these rules updates to the masters so that they get these updated playstyles. And I think it really, really shines um, in, in this game system. I'm really excited to try them out. Um, so the, they actually release new models, but because they're releasing the rules within the app, you can actually just play with whatever models that you want and try it out before you commit. I know personally, like I'm a big fan, so I'm just gonna get the ones that I want. But if your hobby dollars are a little bit thinner, you could try them out before you commit. And I think that's really good on Weird for giving us that option. Thank you so much. The next thing that I wanna talk about to just press further importance of this update is that Weird is not the biggest company in the world. And within its space, it is not the biggest company within its space either. You know, depending on what area you're in, 40K and Age of Sigmar are definitely the biggest miniature games. Games Workshop is definitely the biggest company. But depending on what area you're in, there may not be Malifaux players. And so without knowing their real business size, I just know that being able to upkeep all of the associated costs with making, developing, injection molding model kits and updating this app in real time and making sure that it's a good experience that's no small feat, and especially not for a small company, especially not one that is considered a tech company. So again, let's just appreciate what they're doing here. It's really not an easy thing to do, and I think they're really doing a great job. All right, so I have, I have the update um, up on the screen here. Uh, let's take a look at it. As of the time of recording, this was about a week ago. Um, so here, hey weirdos, this week we have two little surprises for you all. Um, and the first update here is that you can actually purchase the digital version of this book with rules updates uh, through Drive-Thru RPG. That's really awesome. The fact that you can just buy the PDF so easily is, is really like a nice service. I know that in this day and age, there is a concern that people will pass the book around um, without having paid for the content. Um, but at the end of the day, the digital is really the most convenient way um, if you want to have this, if you want to have this book, so giving us the option of buying the book, um, you know, in real life, buying a physical copy, downloading a PDF, or having it available in the app, really is just like making this game as low friction as possible. You can have 
your, your flavor of how you want these rules. And so thank you, Weird, for making that so painless. Uh, but wait, there's more. And this is what really gets me about this rules update is they know that because, like I, I was describing, they, they're updating rules for the master models, and that affects the way army building works. Um, they've included a little GIF here to show you that you know, if, if you're in the process of, of building your army and you're switching between the new rules and the old rules, they're making it as convenient as possible. And that's so awesome that they're already offering the book to you in a physical form. They did the artwork. They made a physical book. It's beautiful. They, they're offering it to you in a PDF form that you can download. They're putting it in the app, but they're not doing the minimum. They're actually making sure that the app is updated. So if you encounter like some, some issue with army building, you know, they did their best to get in front of that. And then on top of that, they're proactively communicating with you, hey, this is, this is how you use it. This is exactly the way I want to be interacting with a, with a gaming company or with any company. So I know that I've been tooting weird's horn this entire time, but we really cannot, you know, we really can't let this go uncelebrated. As much as we're making Games Workshop salt videos left and right, we should also be celebrating the companies that are doing a good job. And when I scroll through this news update, that's what I see is any user experience potential snag has been thought of. And you know, I'm not going to say that the, the app is without bugs. You know, I, I could log on right now and a bug could happen. But the fact is they're doing their best to get ahead of the experience and give us a good one. So simply for that, thank you so much, Weird, for just being the classiest company that I know in Wargaming right now. Not to speak down of other companies, but y'all are just doing a good job. Thank you. So that was the update. I just want to say again, you know, slow jam shout out to Weird for just being the classiest. Please continue fighting the good fight. I know that it is not always the most profitable to give your consumers the best experience, but I also want to show you that there are people out there that see it and appreciate it. Um, if y'all want to support Weird, y'all listeners at home, viewers at home, I recommend, I normally recommend going to your local game store. I really do, but in this, this specific case, if you do want to support Weird, the best way is to buy from their web store. They make the most, the best amount of money that way. So again, shout out to Weird. Thank you for the best experience uh, that I can see in tabletop gaming right now. I'm really excited to try out my new, uh, my new Rasputina, my new Perdita rules. Thank you again, guys, so much for swinging by. Please, please, please like the video and subscribe to the channel. I'm desperate, and as always, I'll see you around.